Dolores Carmen and, and Sylvia, I tell you what, they had a lot to say about you, Jose, and it's going to be extremely funny to hear what they said because they talked about some things that are going to bring some memories <laughs> back to you. Okay? Okay? okay. I, I guess you, you can say roll it. All right, let's roll the tape. <laughs> I really noticed that when he came in, when he was in the arm and he came and visited me in Atlanta and we were talking about what had happened and what his plans were. And I, I was very happy to hear him that he was going to continue to work in that area of being, you know, working with the radio, but hopefully with TV eventually. That's Carmen. Jose has three sisters all older, Carmen, Dolores, and Sylvia. He's the youngest of four. That's where the legendary story begins. As a child, Jose was always real mischievous and always kind of like a prankster. He was my baby brother. And I was a tomboy growing up. And we used to carry on like two boys. But, but I always knew that he had that, that, what's the word? That ability to articulate what needed to be done and how it needed to be done. That's big sister Sylvia sort of helping Jose along the way. As a matter of fact, I spoke with him a little earlier to, to greet him, to tell him Happy Father's Day. And I said, boy, I, I said, do you remember when I put that... <laughs> When I put that bowl over your head to give you a haircut. At what age did this happen? He was about 11, 12 years old. That was, you know, that's that age where the young guys, are, you know, beginning to smell themselves. <laughs> and he didn't want nobody to give him a haircut. And I said, no, you're going to get a haircut one way or the other. So I got that bowl and put it over his head. And I started cutting, and that was the last time. Fast forward to the first sign of a bright future. And he went into the Army, and uh, from that, he, he started with picture, doing pictures for the Army, I think. Followed that up with radio and eventually television on the big stage. What comes to my mind right now is when he was on uh, satellite news in Connecticut, when he left mm -hmm. here, and he was the first voice first news person on satellite news tnt tycoon ted turner bought him out didn't stop jose from continuing to work in markets like el paso tampa miami dallas and then houston while also developing the reputation of being an impeccable dresser he learned from my daddy my yeah. dad was a professional tailor master tailor different socks that he wear all the time <laughs> I was shocked when he saw because he's always showing off the socks that he wear. Jose has made his sisters proud. I'm proud of him with all of the accomplishments he's made. And my concern is just I'm very happy that he's decided to retire so he can rest and enjoy himself. I'm very proud of him, of his accomplishment, because he really did it on his own. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. on his own. He worked at it every bit, every bit of it on his own. And I got to tell you, I, I know Dolores Carmen and Sylvia, they love you to death. And I, I will also admit that they are a hoop. They right. are. I they mean, they be. are. Yeah. We we left so much out of the interview because I knew, you know, John Chastain was going to tell me, hey, you can only go three and a half minutes. You know, and so we left a whole lot out. And Carmen talked about you always getting her in trouble. She took a lot of whippings for you, you know, because of the things you did because you were a prankster. But personally, I want to say to you, I want to say thank you because you are the reason why I'm here. So thank you, man. Oh, you're quite welcome. Absolutely. Quite welcome. You deserve to be here. Right. Thank you. You really do. Beautiful conversation. Thank you, gentlemen. Yep. And I love your sisters. They are so fun. <laughs>